mitochondria mitochondria are one of the most important components of human cells that are found within cytoplasm one is known as mitochondrion and several are known as mitochondria these are highly mobile structures which can often change shape and also fuse together in some cells however they are re relatively stable mitochondria are big enough to be visible under light microscope and they are the size of bacteria these very important organelles are covered with two highly developed and specialized design membranes. In the absence of mitochondria, human body would not be able to use oxygen. Main function of mitochondria is the production of adenosine triphosphate by aerobic metabolism. Aerobic metabolism is the one in which cells use oxygen and food components to produce energy currency molecules uh, which are obviously known as adenosine triphosphates. Adenosine is a compound of nitrogen and sugar which combines with three phosphate molecules to be known as adenosine triphosphate. Phosphate molecules break away from adenosine triphosphate to release more than 7000 calories of energy. Although adenosine triphosphate is initially produced within cytoplasm of cells without use of oxygen, but it is not enough to fulfill energy requirements of human cells. This process, which is known as anaerobic metabolism, can only use glucose, which is broken down by a process known as glycolysis. Fats cannot be metabol metabolized anaerobically. Another important function of mitochondria is to initiate programmed cell death, which is known as apoptosis. It is an extremely important function when some cells commit suicide to keep the rest of the body well organized and alive. New research suggests that these small components of cells are also responsible for aging, as well as they play an important role in functions related to memory. The cells that uh, need high amount of energy can have a big number of mitochondria such as heart cells. Liver cells can have up to 2000 mitochondria. These cells in turn produce a high number of adenosine triphosphate and thus produce a high amount of energy needed by these cells. Let's have a look at the process of aerobic and anaerobic metabolism. So these are the main components uh, of food that we eat. These food components are broken down into smaller components before cells that are microscopic can use them. Sugars means carbohydrates are broken down into simple sugars. If we were to speak medical language, we would say from polysaccharides to glucose. We can also say polysaccharides to monosaccharides. Monosaccharide is a word for glucose. Fats are broken down into fatty acids and proteins are broken down into amino acids which are actually the building blocks of proteins. We will discuss metabolism of sugars and fatty acids here. These two food components pass through the plasma membrane or cell membrane as we call it and enter cytosol. Cytosol is the fluid component of cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is defined as anything between nucleus and cell membrane which includes several organelles. The fluid component of cytoplasm is known as cytosol as I said uh, and cytosol is also known as hyaloplasm. Cytosol has proteins that act upon sugars and convert them into pyruvate, adenosine triphosphate and NADH without using oxygen. One molecule of glucose is converted into two molecules of pyruvate, two adenosine triphosphates and two NADH. And I will say again adenosine triphosphate are the main energy 
energy supply molecules to cells but the number of adenosine triphosphate produced this way are not enough to meet the energy requirement of cells. Fatty acids that are transported from blood to cytosol and pyruvate that is produced in cytosol from glucose by anaerobic metabolism moves to mitochondria. Both these are converted into acetyl coenzyme within mitochondria. Oxygen absorbed from lungs is eventually transported to cells as well and it reacts with acetyl coenzyme within mitochondria to produce enough adenosine triphosphates to fulfill cells energy requirement. Carbon dioxide and water are byproducts. Carbon dioxide is removed from cell as a waste product. Note that fatty acids cannot be metabolized anaerobically. They have to be converted into acetyl coenzyme within mitochondria before going through aerobic metabolism. These are the references. Thank you very much.